Round four. In the first 11, Warrandyte hosted Templeton and again proceeded to bat first. Devil, the man in form, made another half century to push Warrandyte to 164, with handy contributions from Bailey Bowyer and Jack Taylor's dad both making 20s. This proved not to be enough, with Aitken and Tickets the only wicket takers for the day. Facing Warrenwood in round four, the twos again bowled first in a one-dayer, seemingly exchanging extras for pies as Warrenwood pasted 220. Whitey took three, whilst Dutch took aim at the tail to claim a brace. In reply, we made just 146. Whitey's 34 and Buckets' is unbeaten 14, batting at 10, the only highlights for the innings. In the threes, Hallie Simpson put an exclamation point on his threes debut with three wickets, for not a whole lot, while the skipper spun a web to bag three of his own. Hoiberg bowled and horrifyingly took the unblemished figures of one for zero, much to the dismay of a dishevelled Josh Huntley. Huntley himself took one for 50 off five, and Hoiberg was more than happy to lend bowling tips to him post-game. Chris Jackson led the top order stanza with a destructive 78 runs, but the Bloods fell just short. With just 10 players, the fours bowling and fielding were very good to restrict South Warrandyte to nine for 175 at the high school. Prangeli and Honey Badger were among the best of the bowlers. Warrandyte lost early wickets in the run chase, but Kelpie and Kleine steadied the ship, putting Warrandyte back on track before a collapse of 4 for 13 put the game back in the balance. A hamstring injury to Creeves on his return game from a broken rib set up a thrilling finish. the athlete stealing all the glory with a boundary from the second to last ball of the day for the win. Shame they played one extra ball. In the fives, the Wonga Ferrells were coasting at three for 135. That was until Lady Sharon Coots rocked up after school cricket and wreaked absolute havoc with a bowling spell that led to Wonga Park to lose seven for six. After losing three early wickets, Graham and Drew steadied the ship, but the Dykes still fell six runs short, getting bowled out in the second last over. The 6th 11 batted first and made three for 149, with new opener Ned Mooney making 50. Cartry and War worked hard to push the score, but it would not be enough as Montrose made 165 without losing a wicket. Dave and Max Malley were out for the pleasant stroll and were roped into playing for us in one of the highlights of the year. Short on players, under-14s coach and team vice-captain Ben Sproat brought half of his under-14s along to play. Batting first, the Sevens got off to a shaky start. A brief partnership between Martin Rakacek and Flynn Foxy Wedders gave some fight between the team as we got bowled out for 67 and the shopping centre passed the total three down. This could be the least deserved 3-2-1 votes in P history. Round 4. Then I can't...